I'm not the kind of girl who's like, I show up to beat all the boys. I'm Jessica Clark. Uh, we're at Ventura Raceway. This is basically where I grew up. I started racing here when I was 13. And this is like a home away from home for me. Racing, I feel like it'll always be a big part of my life. It's just so much fun. There's so much layered into what racing is, more than what meets the eye. Being inside a race car is crazy. You're in control of this powerful machine and you're trying to drive it to its limit, trying to be faster than everyone and more strategic. I just start to think about racing and my heart rate goes up. That just is a testament to how adrenaline packed this sport is. If you're just thinking about it and your heart rate goes up, it's intense. My dad, he got me into racing when I was 11 years old. He came up to me and was like, hey, you want to race go-karts? And I was like, that sounds fun, driving around and going fast. I was in desert racing, but it wasn't a family event, and she wasn't involved in it. So what I thought as a dad is, I thought I could pass mechanical skills to her that would be valuable for her in her life. So I asked her, do you want to go go-kart racing? My dad approached me. It wasn't me saying, Dad, can I race go-karts? And him saying, no, you're a girl. He from the very first second was like, Jessica, you can do this and let's do it together. And that moment, right then and there, I knew there was something special about her ability to drive. I started go-kart racing and then we raced a junior midget here on the inside little track when I was a kid. That was actually with him as my crew chief. So we have this special bond. Her mother thought I was nuts and she was not really supportive uh, because the motorsports being dangerous. So as time went along, when we started go-kart racing, her mother had to become comfortable with the fact that Jessica actually had an incredible skill to race a car. And as time went along, she really bought into this whole racing program and understanding her talent and how powerful a woman could be in motorsports. He's been my biggest supporter. He's the one who got me onto the driver development team that I raced for. And that really just turbo boosted my career as a driver. Once I finished racing my other cars, I got a call from Larry, who is my car owner. He said, do you want to race my car? Come to hear it, he was a little skeptical about having me drive his car because I'm a girl. I wasn't really too wild about it to begin with. You know, a 20-year-old girl, young kids, drama. I'm an old man, you know. Young kids are kind of bizarre sometimes. I proved him wrong really quick. She's well-spoken. She's talented. She's just the whole package. That's hard to find. NASCAR takes millions of dollars, so it's going to be a couple of years before things really start moving, but they are moving, and that's why I got this baby. I'm going to continue getting laps on racetracks no matter how grassroots it is. I think the biggest thing about Jessica, it, it's not the fact that she has a talent to drive a race car. It's much deeper than that. It's actually her as a woman, her as a person. When I tell people that it's my dream to be a NASCAR driver, I'm met with a bunch of different responses. But you're a girl. Oh, like Danica Patrick? Don't give it a second thought. Use it as ammunition to build yourself into that person that they don't think you can be. It's easy to get discouraged by certain people. A lot of what I do is, is to just prove myself. I really want to prove it to the people who don't think I can do it. When a girl sitting up in the stands gets to see me racing out on the track, they get to see there's girls doing this. I can do this. And they may not want to, but if they do, I'm living proof that you can do it. Yeah. I'm at the point where I don't want to just race to go around in circles. I want to make it about something, not just the glory of winning and getting a trophy. That's really not what I'm in it for. I'm in it for reaching people's hearts, connecting with others, and, and hopefully inspiring other people to do awesome things and live in an awesome way.